Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a preview to the Detroit Red Wings, the Steve Eisenman-led Detroit Red Wings, and Jeff Blashill Detroit Red Wings season preview. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above at the end. Just like some of the other teams I mentioned in our season preview, this team has a couple draft picks to play around with, too, to get some of the guys that maybe fall off as youngsters like the OU Levy. That Florida picked up, who's a good team at doing that, for example, from other organizations, the Duclairs of the world, that they can then turn into good success stories for themselves. You have three fourth-round picks and two seconds, so you can definitely use those to play around with to add some of those players to your team. But as for the people that are, of course, already on the club down there in Detroit, you're building a good foundation. You got Philippe Zadina, still only 21 years old, not even close to his prime yet. Michael Rasmussen has taken a little bit to develop, but is still only 22 years old, not even close to his prime yet. And then you got the great young star, budding looks like star from over, obviously, in Sweden, in Lucas Raymond. So the fourth pick in the 2020 draft, he's going to be a big pivotal part of this Detroit Red Wings team, not only potentially this season, but of course going forward into the future. He's going to be somebody you want to see have the keen success. Of course, with Tyler Bertuzzi, you have the caveat of him potentially obviously not being able to play certain game, which is going to suck, but when on the ice, he is a very good player. And I thought Pius Suter going to get him, signing him, that is a smart deal because he played well. I was actually surprised that Chicago did not actually want to keep him because he played well when he came over from overseas, playing overseas in the Swiss League and in the Swiss Cup. He played really well over here for the Chicago Blackhawks, 27 points in 55 games. They decided to move on from him, and now you're going to get his graces in Detroit. He plays a nice 200 foot game and can play center or left wing can play right wing if you want him to so you can move him around so you have nice developing pieces then of course you have Moritz Sider who's going to get better over time on defense as well and you have Gustav Lidstrom who's going to continue to improve Philippe Hironik who's still only 23 which it feels like he's been in the league a little bit longer than that, and he's a stud. So you got good defensemen to build around on this team. And then the veteran Danny DeKaiser, that kind of is the glue piece that keeps it together. Plus, you brought in Nick Letty, who was another great veteran that can really help a young defense, obviously, come to fruition. Plus, you have Joey Valeno and others that are in the minors as well to go with those people and Sebastian Cosa who was developing in net only 18 years of age obviously he's impressive size wise and athletic wise he's going to be a while away but you do have another great young goaltender that you got from the Carolina Hurricanes in Nedeljkovic as well as the veteran Tomas Grice who was able to obviously right the ship after a bad start and finish with a 279-12 and 8-15 record. Record is more because of the team, obviously, last year. So you seem to have a solid goaltender tandem with a veteran Grice that's been around to help Nadelkovich guide him along since obviously he's only played the 23 games, but played them swimmingly and competed for the Rookie of the Year and then got moved on. So that was a smart move pick up by Steve Eiserman. It is smart to obviously allow these young guys to play like the Siders, like the Lindstroms of the world, like the Hironic, um, like the Zadinas of the world. Obviously, just keep putting them in the right spots and keep letting them play. The Rasmussens, let them work through the struggles they're going through. And then Lucas Raymond is a guy you want to put in your top six, which is what he's projected to be in, in order to give him the best chance to succeed and even compete for that Rookie of the Year on, yes, a team that is not going to be contending for the playoffs. I don't think that's breaking news for you Detroit Red Wings fans, but a team that you want to see keep having these guys improve and kind of show that in the next three, four years, you can be back to being one of the more competitive teams and one of the more foundation teams of hockey, like you were, just were, obviously, in the earlier 2000s when you had the Dawson's of the world and the Zetterbergs of the world. So it's about getting the Red Wings back to being that, and you have the foundation pieces in the Siders, in the Raymond, in the Edmondsons, and then you have Costa who's coming up, and Nepo, you already have Nadelkovic, so you might not even need him in the future, but it's always good to have too much goaltending rather than too little. So you're doing things right. Steve Eisenman's building this team up in the foundations you want. You have the defenses growing. You have young guys that are coming in there already that are going to keep growing and getting better, plus others that are going to be coming up in a few years' time. So I think you're building this team right. It's obviously going to take a few years to get back to the promised land, which is the playoff for the Detroit Red Wings. <clears throat> but you're going to see, excuse me, improving uh, play this year, I think, from a lot of the young players. 
and see the steps you want to take on a rebuild in order to move from where you're at in the rebuild now to the next step and then show that in the next couple years you're going to be in the postseason maybe four years or so three down the line and be back to being a competitive Detroit Red Wings team it's all about improving each year when you're in a rebuild and not about obviously looking at the playoff site because that's just unrealistic this team is projected by the hockey news seventh in the Atlantic and that is likely where they are going to fall but it's all about improving this season, having the youngsters come in and play really well, especially Lucas Raymond, and really seeing all these guys improve. I hope you all enjoyed the Detroit Red Wings season preview. Subscribe down below if you like the content or up above on the easy-to-use Professor Joe Widget. Good luck to you, Detroit Red Wings fans. I think in all things considered, what you want to have is a successful season. Is the young guys continue to bud and develop and Nedeljkovic um, integrate himself into the team well? And I think that's what you're going to see. You're obviously not going to see a playoff push, but you're going to see a successful season in that realm. So good luck to you, Detroit Red Wing fans, this season. Peace out and stay safe and enjoy the NHL season.